Is this the beginning of agentic AI for data analytics? I mean, th this is the, at least here at Solutions Review, the magic term we keep hearing that the agents are coming, <laughs> you know. And, uh, and there's certainly some fear, I think, around the idea that agents might ultimately replace uh, data anal and analysts. But um, this feels to me like it's almost a, a way to empower analysts um, rather than kind of turning loose some sort of autonomous agent. Um, is that how you see it? And, and kind of where are we in terms of the development curve here for, for all the things that may be coming? Doug, I love that question because Alteryx has always been about empowerment. And, you know, what we saw today is how people can, they, they, they understand their business. They understand the problems they're trying to solve and they're trying to solution for them. And so while large language models are incredibly powerful, they're only as powerful as we ask them to be and only as powerful as uh, the quality of data that's ultimately feeding them and, and helping them make decisions. So what we're seeing in practice is organizations are bringing together the smart minds, the people that they have empowered to solve problems with AI as really a, um, you know, you hear co-pilot is a common term. Um, full autonomy is, is kind of an interesting topic because businesses really want the the power to define what they're trying to solve and have transparency into how that's actually being done. So when we talk about the concept of agents, specifically in the world of uh, data problem solving and analytics, what you're actually going to see is that people are owning the solutions. People are creating these trusted set of steps and using AI. And then when we think about agents, those agents may be then calling those processes as trusted resources. So those things that people have been able to curate to uh, give their stamp of approval and say, this is this solves this problem for my business. When we think about an agent and the toolbox that the agent has to work with, it's ultimately using something that the business actually owns and manages and, and gives that green light for. So uh, we're seeing it's really a mix of both. Even as we bring automation and, and agents that are orchestrating different things, having that trusted set of logic is so important, and the analyst is really going to power that. Well, it feels like the, um, the generative AI has a role to play here with regard to the analysis, if you will. I mean, that's kind of how we use it, I think, uh, a lot here at Solutions Review is to is take a lot of information and, and start to synthesize um, some analysis around, uh, you know, trends or, or uh, directional intelligence. I mean, generative AI has this very unique way of, or a very beneficial way of bringing in this kind of bigger perspective in a kind of 100% pure fidelity way and then giving you a view that you didn't necessarily have clarity around. I mean, can you see generative AI being a part of that um, after the data has all been wrung out or, or when there's that, um, that kind of disparate uh, data? Can it have a role there in kind of presenting some directional intelligence around uh, you know, the analysis so that the data analysts can, can have maybe a little bit more perspective? Uh, just a, a quick, um... I, we, we're, we're working with the company and uh, in practice, the dashboard says it's green all across the board. Everything is great, green, green, green. But then you think it can't be that good. So, but you're curious, you're a data analyst. So let's, let's go inspire, let's go figure out what's going on. And it turns out everything is green, but turn, really what's going on is third shift in Virginia is working triple overtime to get that to be great. So while the company looks good, we're paying a lot of time and putting a lot of stress on people that we don't need to do. How do I fix that factory in Virginia to be uh, not running at third shift and overtime to to get my green dashboard? Because otherwise, it's going to keep on being green. No one's going to do anything. But insights from the data, from the data set itself, is automatically driven up to 
the the data analysts and I, I had the courage to go, hey, this looks good, but let's make it better. So that that's 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 the power of the auto insights. It feels to me, um, and and we do a lot of events like this, and uh, we talk to a lot of companies and a lot of solution providers, and it always feels to me like the uh, the weakness of an organization that they don't like to talk about is the quality of their data, and I, and and if, I'm sure you guys, you know, without naming names, have seen a thing or two, um, but I'm curious what. Uh, what AI-ready data really means? I mean, because ultimately that is the challenge, right? Is having your data in good enough shape so that AI can actually provide some value. Um, so when you talk about AI-ready data, what, what, how should we think about it? How should companies be, um, be preparing uh, to be at that state? The thing that's interesting about large language models as it relates to all of these different disparate data sources is when you are purely expecting that the large language model is going to establish all of the relationships and fully understand the context of your business knowledge, you're leaving a lot up to a model to make those decisions. And I'd love to say that everybody does everything the same way, but every business has its own nuance. And so if you think about what AI uh, ready data means, it's data that is brought together and ready for analysis based on how your organization views those relationships to be made. And so if you are able to create these AI ready data sets that follow those patterns that your organization expects in its reporting, you know that the way that your organization is defining those metrics is creating those relationships is going to be consistent with what you've been doing and, and how that's going to be consistent over time. So it's a mix of, like you were asking um, in, in the previous question, getting to those uh, insights and having AI tell us all of these interesting things, but structuring it and creating the links between your data and applying the logic that is consistent with how you run your if your business would like to be featured in a future event, contact us today.